you mentioned it right then and there, like also part of the off season, we've seen the moves that have been made, but the draft, the 2022 draft came and went, obviously you guys had the second to last pick because you won it and made a solid move from the beginning, getting Michigan safety at Daxon Hill. And you look like you guys had a focus on that. I'm going to bring it up real quick and say the names and, uh, you, you let me know um, how you feel about it. So Daxton Hill at safety. Cameron Taylor Britt, who I am very excited about, at Nebraska at corner. Zachary Carter at defensive line. Um, you got O-lineman Cordell Volson out of North Dakota State. Uh, Tyson Anderson out of Toledo. And Jeffrey Gunther, linebacker out of Coastal Carolina, with the mm-hmm. exception of the middle of the, of the North Dakota State offensive lineman. You you guys went straight defense on that. Are you surprised by that or no? With the way the just the Rams they just kind of took over the game and they kind of just did their own thing with Cooper yeah. Cup and o, OBJ being down. I think that was a smart move, um, yeah. and especially if we're gonna ever beat the, you know, like you said, our division. We need some players on the defensive side as well, um, but not excluding the offensive side. But we definitely need to stop people as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you already know your offense can go and have shootouts with other people, but it's like you said, late in the game, late in the big games, it's the defenses that, you know, are are either the X factor or the reason why teams lose. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, Mm -hmm. um, I mean, but in that, I mean, but again, you saw the names. um, Daxton Hill, really excited about him. Cameron Taylor Bray. Is there somebody that jumps off the page and says, wow, this is the guy. I'm super excited we got him. Daxon Hill. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't I don't I didn't watch I watched the Michigan uh Georgia game. Mm. Um that dude can play. Yeah. 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 So I mean, sideline to sideline. He's got speed. Yeah. He's definitely, definitely a solid hitter, one of the top um safeties um in in all of the Big Ten. So right. And, and if I'm not mistaken, he didn't have that many years. And I think he just moved to position, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think, yeah, I didn't. I haven't done that much on him. But, yeah, for sure, I think he moved positions. Um, there, I'm not going to count them all, but there were one, two, three, four, five other players that I think is going to be um, Jeff Gunter, Zachary Carter, I think, that was a nice one. When I saw Zachary Carter on the draft night, I was like, okay, we're, we're, our pass rush is going to be dangerous again. So Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a lot of people forget about him because Florida didn't have the best of years, at least to their standards, last year. But they had some talent that came into yeah. the draft. And I think he he's definitely going to be one. He's going to help you fill, uh, plug that uh, the middle. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You know, I like that. I like that. We talked mm-hmm. about O-line. Mm-hmm. What do you think about getting Volson at North Dakota State? Volson, I um, I wanted who was that guy from North Northwestern, Northwestern, Penny, Pen, Pen. Oh, Pennig. Oh yeah, the wow. big dude. He can throw people down. I, oh yeah, I was like, and we yeah. got him. I don't even know who got touched over. Or like that I, would have been right. I, I haven't done that much on Cardell uh, Olson, but definitely, um, definitely another addition um, to the to the line as well. Now, speaking on that O line, we still have Jonah Williams. So the uh, the left side of it's going to be a little questionable because left tackle is a very important position. Mm. And we had him last year. He obviously in the Super Bowl got demolished, but um, I think this again, like I said, adding the veterans and everything like that, I think it's going to be a nice wake up call for him. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that. Um, what is going on, Wendy? Long time no see. How you been? Uh, what's up, Sean? Go pack, go. Absolutely. See what you guys do this year. Um, yeah, no, I, and, and look, honestly, I, I like what you did. I'm going to bring it up one more time really quickly. Cameron okay. Taylor Brait, the corner is somebody that I, I, fi- I try to follow, um, Nebraska as much as I can. I got a good buddy that's from Nebraska. Um, okay. 
And Cameron Taylor Bray is, in my opinion, if he's able to get into that system, I think he's going to be a uh, a a top tier player. He played very well, one of the only bright spots in a struggling Nebraska team, but he was always making plays for that defense. So Cameron Taylor Bray, man, we're going to see. Uh, we're gonna see how how he does, but I, I think he's gonna be interesting. Have you have you uh, paid attention to him at all? Um, yes. So I watched the draft again um, last night, just mm-hmm. kind of seeing who we picked and everything like that, and who we got. Um, but I couldn't remember um, Taylor Cam Cam Taylor Britt. Um, Britt. And I just saw his production, and I was like, wow. Yeah. Like, we really addressed the defensive side. Like we got a lot of key players. Now, these players could get cut. Hmm. Very true. So, I just thought about that. Like I was like, wait, these players can get cut. So if yeah. they don't perform in the off season training camp and all that, they could get cut, and we could lose. You know, we could lose Tyson Anderson, for mm-hmm. example. Mm-hmm. So that's one of the players we could lose. Um, but I think again, like I said, Von Bell. Um, we got somebody from Dallas on the corner, left corner side or right corner side. So I think we we're definitely going to be we're de- we're still going to produce. Um, yeah. But yeah. Hmm. I forgot yeah, man. you were a Washington fan. Through and through. Wait, you you forgot? Like wait wait. Everything, baby. I live this. All right, and I'm, yeah. I haven't I haven't changed anything. It's all still Redskins. I know that might be touchy. I apologize to people, but I love my guys. Let's go. Yeah, yeah for <laughs> sure. Know? And I and I again, I do apologize for two years ago, rolling up on your quarterback. Uh, yeah. Somebody tried to come out and say, "Oh man, that was that was uh, dirty." I was like, "Bro, he rolled into him. That wasn't even dirty." Yeah. And we that saw was, what he did this year. That, that was a scary injury. Yeah. For Joe Burrow, that was. Uh, I don't know. I'm surprised he only did his knee. I was uh, worried about his whole leg. Like, oh yeah, uh, yeah, that was bad. But wait, it said just wait till my Packers beat the Commanders. No, eh, no, this ain't last year. We gonna we gonna see y'all again. Don't let us see you on the playoffs. Oh Watch wow! Out. Watch out! Uh, you heard it here first. <laughs> you think Carson? You think Carson Wentz is gonna forget? Uh, listen, I'm trying to be optimistic about Carson. If he gives us a full 17, okay. I'm gonna be optimistic and say we can get to the wild card. I don't. I I want to think we're gonna to get to second, but I think it's gonna be a two man race with the Cowboys and Philly. Mm-hmm. Philly's done too much for them not to be. Now Dallas, they have the 31st week of schedule. We have the 32nd because we stink. Uh, but Dallas, honestly, I I really believe with a lot of those moves, a lot of those guys they lost. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We talk about losing Wilson, losing Cooper. Um, you know, Zeke's had his injury issues. I right. honestly think Dallas might take a little bit of a slide. Um, you know, but who knows? We will see. Right. We, right. Will, we will definitely see. But yo, thanks for watching. If you like that clip, be sure to check out the other great content from the Let's Talk Football community. And as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when more great content like this becomes available.